Un saludo muy especial a mi gran amigo Rubén Rodríguez, el pionero. Hey, good morning. Welcome in. Trucker Rudy here. It's a beautiful day this morning. I left uh, Fargo there about two hours ago. It was still dark outside when I left, but uh, I'm over here in uh, Minnesota right now. Just coming up to uh, Sox Center, Minnesota right now. And I'm uh, yeah, just going to continue on. Uh, don't feel the need to stop just yet. Probably go up to Clearwater or maybe even on the other side of Minneapolis. Maybe stop there. Don't know exactly where I will stop, but uh, anyways, it's uh, not really windy out here at all today. It's nice and nice and quiet. Yesterday was pretty windy when I left uh, home, but uh, today it's nice and quiet, so I should be doing good fuel mileage today. But uh, anyways, I should make it down to South Beloit tonight and uh, go deliver my load tomorrow morning. So hopefully get me a reload uh, out of there really quick, you know. I don't want to sit in Chicago for too, too long, you know. All right, just had a pit stop up here in uh, Wilson, Wisconsin. Did my half an hour break up here to and the uh, to the left on I also grab me a bite to eat. So now we're putting the hammer down. I'll probably go down to uh, Black River Falls and uh, probably gonna go over there to the Walmart. Probably get me some uh, fruits and stuff like that. They're way cheaper down there usually than at a truck stop, you know. But uh, anyways. We're putting the hammer down, as you can see, nice sunshine today. Not much going on, it's quiet. Just the way I like it. Alrighty, just coming to the Black River Falls, Wisconsin, uh, Walmart. Gonna go do a little bit of grocery Pin shopping in here. Feet. Turn left on East Lincoln Street. And then uh, Turn left on East Lincoln, East Lincoln Street. Street. We'll have something to eat at least, you know. But uh, anyways, I'll go park here and uh, I usually park right here where you see that tractor up here ahead. That's usually where I back her into and usually leave us alone up here. And anyways, I'll go do that and then it's I'll be back later. Alright, just leaving Black or Fultz, Wisconsin. They used to deal with the uh, GoPro cameras and they no longer have them. I was gonna go uh, check them out and see what miles. they look Turn like right and all that good 54. stuff, right? But nope, they no longer carry them here in the, at least not here in Black River Falls, Wisconsin. So I just went and got me a gallon of oil and uh, got me new. Uh, 600 feet. Turn right on WI 54 low beam headlight uh, light bulbs I got me new ones up here they uh, turn right on WI 54 just had uh, headlight burn out the other day and a friend of mine told me turn he right said on highway that 54 and Ontario apparently if you don't have a spare headlight with you you can get a $75 ticket for that so Figure I'd get me some uh, spare light bulbs, so uh, I always have one, you know. Because he had a friend of mine, he had uh, one of his friends uh, had a headlight burned out, so the scale pulled him in and said, uh, You got a headlight out, that's a $304 ticket. He said, Oh no, I got a spare, if that's okay, I'll go change it. He said, Yeah, you can go ahead and change it. So he went and changed it. DOT comes back to him and he says, uh, Do you have a spare now? And he says, no, I don't. I just put it in. He says, here you go. I have a $75 ticket. Give him a ticket for that. Like, what kind of crap, you know? But that's how life is these days. They want to give miles. you a, Take ramp. a the ticket ride. for everything, Twilight right? For East. So I figure I try and prevent that if I can, you know? Prevent that from happening. So uh, anyways, just uh, put them brand new light bulbs in and still kept the old ones, they're not burned out yet, so that way I always have a spare, so 
Good day, this is Black Rover right on. It's been a good day so far. I only have about another three hours to go, and I should be in South Beloit. And I know another driver comment, uh, or I don't know if a driver, but other guy that watches my YouTube videos commented on uh, one of my YouTube videos that he's uh, from Take around. The to the right Take on, on, I on the right to I 94 East. Or he used to live around the area of uh, Beloit, or he had family members up there, so it's uh, always familiar to him. So, anyways, uh, we'll catch you guys down the road. I am uh, at the Flying J over here at uh, South Beloit, Illinois. Just uh, finished fueling up over here. And uh, they realized that they uh, had changed their uh, reward program with their uh, pilot cards. They have changed it now for the better. At least for us drivers, I think. They have improved it big time. They said to me that they had interviewed about 40,000 drivers and uh, the drivers were apparently complaining about the shower system so what they did is they upgraded it and uh, in a good way I think now uh, the way it used to be is uh, if you fueled up you got one shower and it was only good for five days if you didn't use it it expired after five days so the drivers complained about that it was too short of a time so they changed it now it's 10 days and on top of that yet what they did is uh, they changed it uh, uh, or, or they give you some sort of bonus if you fuel up for 500 gallons a month you get a free shower every day isn't that awesome eh? that's that's something I think that's uh, uh, definitely a big plus for us drivers out here because we want to smell good too right because uh, there's enough uh, people always saying all oh, these junkies in the trucks right no there is a change no you can take a shower every day if you fuel up for 500 gallons what you usually do in a month any of this, at least I, I usually fill up about 1500 to 1700 gallons in a month. So it shouldn't be any problem for us to get that uh, free shower every day, right? So uh, no excuse for you anymore not taking a shower. Well, that about should do it for today. I uh, just figured I had to say that and uh, make it a little more interesting for you guys. But uh, anyways, I'll cut this for today and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you tomorrow at 5 a.m. Thanks for watching.